Hey, New Hope. This is Pastor Brian. This is Pastor August. We wanted to say Merry Christmas to you. We hope you're having a great week. Hey, I wanted to real quick introduce this guy to you. Um, he moved here from Wisconsin a couple weeks ago with his wife, Carissa, and they have been youth pastors up in Wisconsin for the last five years. August grew up here in high school. He started coming to church here in high school. And um, he and Pastor Luke, they're going to tag team together our high school ministry and our college age ministry. Yep. Together they're going to work uh, work on that. Pastor Austin has moved into an associate role position here at church. And so he is going to share a devotional video with you. And I just wanted to take a moment and to introduce who this strange guy with the big old <laughs> beard is. So anyways, Merry Christmas. I'm going to let August take it away. Thank you, Pastor Brian. Well, family, New Hope family, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Uh, I love, this is my favorite time of the year, um, and I wanted to read my favorite uh, verse in the in the whole entire Christmas story, um, and it comes from Matthew chapter 2, uh, verses 22 and 23. This is uh, the story where uh, the angel visits Joseph in a dream to tell him what's going to happen, and it says this, all of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child, she will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's my favorite verse because God with us, I think, is an incredible statement. The supernatural God of the universe is with us here and now today. We live on the other side of what the angel told Joseph. So we know Jesus. We know his story. This book is full of the truth about him. We know that he is with us and we have the potential to experience his presence, uh, to experience the supernatural God of the universe, creator of all things here and with us now. And one thing that uh, I also love about this is that it says in verse 22, all of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message message through his pro through his prophet we know that God keeps his promises and when God tells us something is going to happen it's going to happen God keeps his promises to us and one of the other promises that I love uh, that I want to read to you guys it comes from Lamentations and the book of Lamentations isn't always uh, thought of as a hope-filled book but in reality, it teaches us that when we are going through hard times, when we're going through trials, when we're going through seasons, we can see God still moves. We can still see that God still keeps his promises, that he still loves us, uh, and that he's still there for us. And in Lamentations chapter 3, verses 23 through 24, it says this, The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance, therefore I will hope in him. Family, what is your hope in this Christmas season? This is one of the weirdest Christmas seasons any of us have ever experienced. This is a different Christmas season than we've ever had. And it can be easy to be filled with grief and sorrow and uh, just be upset and, and not exactly know because everything is different. Everything has changed. I don't know what's going on. But we can count on the Lord. We can count on the fact that God is with us. That when Jesus was born, the baby that we celebrate is Emmanuel. He is God with us. And if we take time to intentionally uh, see his presence, to be with him, to follow him, to read his word, if we take time to meet with God on a daily basis, we will see that his mercies are new for us every morning. And so family, I just want to challenge you with this. The more you allow and force yourself to be aware of God's presence now, the easier and some more surprising it will be when you recognize him and his presence as you grow spiritually in him. And so I want to challenge you. Look at his creation. Read the promises of the word. Feel the reality of his presence here and now and follow the guiding of his Holy Spirit through this Christmas season. Just because it's different doesn't mean it has to be bad. Love you guys. Merry Christmas.